Greetings, mortals. I am the Fallen Shogun, and welcome to the Who's That Indie. Being a strategic, tactical survival indie game, so your face holds today's first impressions, Delphique. I think I'm saying it right. Which is another Steam Summer Festival game. Notice the theme? So, from what I gather, this is tactical squad based gameplay. This is my first time booting it up because I want to go and order some food. So, we'll see how good it is. Together. Now, usually I do a little bit more um, research before I do a game. Usually a lot more research before a game, but there are... Oh, are we in? There you go. <laughs> so left click to support, select the support unit. I've played this before, haven't I? So it's familiar. Z to undo, okay. Right click to place a waypoint. Look at that. Space to unpause. I've played this before, I remember this game. Oh. Where else to look around? I remember it not being the best, now I think about it. Right click on a down unit, highlighted yellow, support you can revive faster than others. I got footage of this. Okay, so you have to just press spacebar to pause. Get him up. Oh. So the interesting, ah. it's got a very interesting style, as it can <clears throat> see. Okay. You. Are you moving to me? Okay. Use group heal. Done. Use group. S uh, group power transfer. Experts activate to transfer power from the text battery reserve. Oh, I see. Okay. So abilities use power and they can add to power. So squads have to work together. When you get it selected, hover over an object. Okay. So as you can see, it's very much micromanaged the squad. So you can choose when they pop out, when they pop in, and so on. So this is actually very good. And obviously you have to pause the game to get tactics going in. Units cannot engage enemies outside of their effective weapons range. So shift holds down their weapons range. Why are you facing the wrong way? Go that way. Okay. Right click target enemy, pull back, pull back. So what did you say? It was Z, yes. Okay, so you guys want to go here. I need you to do a group here and you to actually transfer some power because obviously I've done a little bit of dumb. How do I get you to out? Stance. Get back up. Okay, transfer the power. Group heal. There we go. So as you can see, it's very much, each character has to work with another, and you do have to keep an eye on what your characters are actually doing. You can't just let them do their own thing. They won't go in and out of cover. So this is one of those games where you have to micromanage your characters a lot. Health power stage, by the way, to heal power during missions. Okay. So yeah, you do have to make sure you are looking after your troops. And obviously we're going to get another couple here. So yeah, don't expect a fast paced game here. You're expecting very much to be on top of each and every one of your soldiers at any one time. So you do have to be prepared for that. Right click, drag it away, put change the direction. The right direction. Yeah, I was doing that. Go. Okay. Out. Out. Kill. Okay, there's only got any weapons. Engagement to attack stealth mode. Okay, out of cover. Oh, there we go. So, yeah, as you can see, battles are pretty vicious. I do remember playing this before. So, actually, yeah. Getting round people and using extreme tactics is obviously the way to go. 
you can't just leave a soldier somewhere. You have to make sure they're doing what you want them to do. Okay, that soldier moves to there. Double click makes them run. Okay, you're definitely going to go make sure this area is actually clear. Oops. ZZ. Go. Can I make you come out? Yeah, I can. Good. Go. So as you can see, move and cover is massively part of what you want to do. You want to make sure you're out of cover and the enemy is reloading, obviously in cover and about to fire. So yeah, this actually really is a lot more tactical than most games this variety, but it does mean you are significantly more hands-on. Which obviously not everyone will like. People like being able to set their soldiers and have a bit of autonomy to them. So you have to make a decision. Okay, you're going to stance. Go. Go. Okay, when you're selected, right click doors to open them. Very simple. Go. Get them all together. Advance through. But yeah, as you can see, everything is based around tactics and time. Hack door. Let me just attack the door. Uh, okay. Hack the door. Thank you. Oh, you just closed it again. One that Close it. Open the door. What's this? Extraction air. So as you can see, you do this. Okay, let's start advancing. Get that. Pack to security terminal, good. Are you gonna advance around like now I don't have any targets around that area. About to hit, go. Okay, push up. Go. Go. Oh. Push him. Okay, you out, you push. As you can see, it is significantly more tactical. There we go. And push in. So I'm not entirely sure how I feel about it, because obviously it's more micromanaging than I'm used to. We barely made it out of that one. We can also see, this is interesting, how it went. This is the primary objective. Every mission has one. Get to it and hack it so you can get more intel on the location of the Balances Security Network. These are the secondary objectives that we have to acquire. These provide intel for other missions. Try to get as much of these as we can. They give us funds to continue our operations. And your oper operatives will deploy from here. Make a so, orange is extraction. Green is you. It's red is enemy. That's a lot. Okay. Am I doing this? Am I planning my operations? The operatives can select what equipment and abilities that they'll be able to use during the mission. Select the ability, okay. Oh wow. Didn't give me anything. Okay, give me this. What have we got? Invisibility or none? Hyperdart. 
run and gun, run and gun. Throw a grenade, group heal. We only have one heal. We have seven men. That's a lot of troops. Okay, that's going to execute the plan, I guess. We have nine optional objectives on the field. There's a lot of enemy units, especially over here. Ugh, a lot of enemies. Okay. Enemies will call for reinforcements if they see any of your units. When the reinforcement time is over, enemies will start to spawn this level indefinitely. Get out before they arrive. As you've seen, killing enemies actually requires a lot of time. One, two, three, four, five. Is seven my max, or can I literally get even more? Okay. So how do I get to the stealthy section? Who has stealth kill? Okay, how are we spotted? Because we're facing the wrong way, that's why. So enemies will spawn indefinitely if you're spotted on these missions, interesting enough. But we should be okay with that. We've got 13 minutes, that's plenty of time. What is it? So, two is cover. Show advanced hood, hold shift. What's advanced hood? Oh. So yeah, combat is extremely tactical. Like, most of these games don't get this kind of tactical. Okay, Z that. Just get to that. Go for cover. But yeah, as you can see, it's very much you have to make sure you are doing the right things. Because you only have so many troops, so many so much power unless you find it on the field. Move to there. Sniper, push up to here. Headshot, that one. Good. But yeah, as you can see, you have to keep pushing. You have to keep going. Go, go, go. Oh, oh. This is a problem. Oh god, we're pushing, we're pushing! Running gun. As you can see, this is already getting pretty tough. We are already in major problems right now. We need to keep on pushing. But even though you get a lot of troops, you really have to... ...make sure you're doing well. Push out to here. Go! Who's my medic? Okay. Thank you for showing me that they're uh, a person. Yes, I know you're being shot. Amazingly how you're being shot when you're in cover. Yes, okay, I get it. You keep pausing every five seconds. Who's my medic? Okay, you, you're badly injured. Okay, you just get them up. Okay, grenade. 
grenade them. How are you bleeding out? Oh. Okay, so things aren't going well at all. Okay, now he's bleeding out. Okay, push, hold. Push it. Now you can see it's a very, very tough game. Just a... Okay. Oh my god. Give me a sniper. One, two. Yeah. Wow, he's got insta kills. Is there a sniper back there? So yeah, as you can see, characters are not invincible. They're not invulnerable. You are very likely to lose them continuously. So you have to use what you've got. Definitely use your skills. Come on. Oh, come on. How are their insta-kills hitting me faster than my insta-kills are hitting them? So, yeah, it's... Hmm. I was just praising you, game. So I don't really know what the objective is, because you only have so much time to get your people up. It looks to me like once you run out of stealth, basically you seem to be screwed. Because obviously I can't get any of these people up. And I can't advance either. So once you've run out of stealth, you just seem to lose. Because obviously we're trying to do a mission. And the enemy's stopping us. They have completely utterly sealed up that area, as you can see. There's a is that a grenadier? No wonder I'm losing on that side. Sniper's set up here. Actual engagements are really brutal. Your soldiers aren't special. Your soldiers aren't good. You know, they are just soldiers. Yeah, I've lost. There's no way we can win. We can't push out. We can't go anywhere. Yep. So yeah, looks to me like once you've run out of stealth, you're basically screwed, which is a bit of an odd one. Can't get anyone up. As soon as they get someone up, they get shot. Close quarters specialist. Like, obviously, I need to get him round the side without snipers guarding this area. No. Yeah, that sniper would have picked him off even if he jogged over. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. So, I think it's more of a stealth based squad game, from what I can see, because that was really tough. That was insanely tough. Hmm. Like the jump in difficulty. My gods. So yeah, obviously, uh, yeah, bah, duh. You really, really have to micromanage your troopers. Which means you'll be spending more of the time with the squad paused, I feel, than active, because I think 
the issue we had there was I should have been much more micromanagery on the soldiers. Now, obviously, I'm expecting them to do a little bit more. Obviously, they were using cover. But, yeah, if you want your soldiers to go to cover and then shoot, you have to make sure they're doing that. If you want them to go back into cover after shooting, you have to make sure they're doing that. These soldiers have no AI of their own. If you So, you have to take that into account. So, it's more micromanagery than I personally would go for. But you've probably figured out if you like it or not. But, yeah, that was difficult. I've definitely played it before. I might even be on the channel after a look. But anyway, I've been the Fallen Shogun. It's been Delphic. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If not, I apologise. It was my bad, bad gameplay. But anyway, ciao for now. Be awesome. Be epic. Be amazing. Thanks to my patrons who support me every month. Thanks to you guys for watching. And I will, of course, see you next time.